A teenager disappears during a family hike. Now search crews scour the forest near Mount St. Helens hoping to find him. Welcome to Queen 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilton. And I'm Emily Burris. We are heading towards the second night now that he has been missing. Search crews started from where he stepped off the trail to go to the bathroom and has not been seen since yesterday. Our Lindsay Nadrick spoke to the Cowles County Sheriff and family members who are, of course, desperate to find him. Yeah, teams of people have been searching since 3 p.m. yesterday, but there's still no sign of 16 year old Anthony Mancuso. Now, family did share this photo with us. It was taken yesterday, so this is what Anthony was wearing when he went missing. His family hopes there's someone out there who saw him and knows something that could help searchers find him. Anthony was hiking the Hummocks Boundary Trail in the Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument with his mom and 13 year old sister. He stepped off the trail to use the bathroom and never returned. Cowlitz County Sheriff Brad Thurman said Anthony wasn't far from the trailhead when he went missing. In this case, like I said, conditions were not all that bad, so we're hoping that uh, he was able to hunker down somewhere and stay warm and we'll find him here pretty quick. Well, there's a team of about 50 people searching the area right now. That group includes a canine from Clark County, the Cowlitz County Search and Rescue Squad, and members of the Air Force. They've also used a drone, the Coast Guard helicopter, and another Navy aircraft with infrared technology to search from the sky. The family is thankful for everyone who stepped up to help, but for now, the sheriff's office says they don't need any more volunteers. I did speak with Anthony's high school principal. He told me he's an amazing student and the type of person anyone would be lucky to have as a son. He said everyone is praying for his safe return. And if you know anything that you think might help, you're asked to call the Cowlitz County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin 6 News.